Mm. Look at how soft that is. Four ingredient ribs. Epic. We need another batch. Might need to reshoot. <laughs> Okay, so this could not be any easier. The one little tip that I would give you guys though when you're doing ribs um, in the whole rack here is to make sure that you do take the time to take the membrane off on the back. That's gonna make sure everything really is soft and melts in your mouth without too much resistance. So if you have a look here, I just wanna run my knife just under that first layer there just to get it started. And then you'll need to grab a hold of it with your fingers and really work that membrane off. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but it's worth it in the end. So now we wanna season these guys with some salt. Just rub that in a little, both sides. Should never skimp on the seasoning, the salt, especially when it comes to big hunky bits of meat like this. So our sauce is a combination of all things spicy and super flavorful. We're gonna start off with some Korean chili paste. This is a fermented chili paste. It's called gochujang. It has a terrific kind of smoky chili flavor. And it's available in a lot of supermarkets these days, just in your Asian aisle. And some tomato ketchup as well. Now I like to kick up the spice level a little bit with an Asian chili sauce. So I'm using my coconut sriracha. This one is hot guys, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but it is good hot. Uh, you could use any type of hot chili sauce or hot sauce that you have at home. Regular sriracha is good. Um, I do like the little extra kick of coconut in this one and just mix all of that together. Now I'm gonna use this sauce twice, once straight on the ribs and then a little bit later I wanna use it as a basting sauce. So I'm gonna save some of that sauce for basting a little later. Okay, so now we're at the cooking part and we are gonna give these ribs a lot of love, not a lot of work, but a lot of love. We're gonna cook them twice. So first of all, I want them really low and slow in a very tight foil parcel. That is what's going to give them that super soft texture and break down all of that lovely juicy meat. So I start off by just placing my ribs to a very large sheet of foil. Now you want to go at these ribs with some of that yummy spicy sauce. Spread that all over top and bottom. And now I want a really tight seal here. So I'm gonna put another piece of foil on top and then fold in the sides. And then pop those onto a tray and then into the oven for two hours. Okay, let's have a look and see how our pork is going. Smelling amazing. Now this is hot, so be careful. And now have a look at that. We're not quite ready for the party just yet, but see how tender this pork is. Bone is almost just falling out. Oh, that's so exciting. So what you wanna do here is carefully, because this really is very soft right now, transfer that to another tray that's lined with foil. All this foil is great because it means that we're not gonna have any of that messy washing up to do. And now any of those jammy juices that you can see on the bottom of that tray, oh, don't wanna waste those. So scoop that up, just dollop that down onto your ribs. Just brush that over. And then now take some of that leftover sauce from earlier and just brush that over the top little extra lick of spice. And now I've turned the oven up high. I'm gonna put these back in for about 10 or 15 minutes. You gotta watch them because I wanna get some really beautiful chariness on the outside, but I don't want them to burn. Holy moly, these are looking amazing. Look at that bubbling. Oh, the 
smell so gorgeous. Now, I wanna get these out onto just a serving bowl. You really don't need much with this. Just wanna get it out so everyone can help themselves. Now, the one accompaniment you will need is some napkins. These things are about to get messy. And now the moment of truth. Should be able to slide a butter knife right through there. Oh, so soft and tender. And of course I'm gonna try one. Just make sure you guys are getting a good recipe. Mm hmm Speechless. <laughs> I cannot even begin to tell you how amazing these are, guys. Mm. Look at how soft that is. Four ingredient ribs. Epic. Clean as a whistle, sign of a good rib. That's the true test. Yum. Hey guys, so my marinades and sauces are in Coles in Australia right now. They're in the sauce aisle, that's where you get your tomato sauce. I hope you can try them and if you like them, why not share them with a friend? Thanks guys, see you. Food.